So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so today I'm going to start a new series uh, regarding tutorials regarding the PC version of PES 2020 and how to get the most out of it because you can do a lot on the PC. So no, this is not on PlayStation 4 and it's not on the Xbox, unfortunately you cannot do these things. Uh, anything you see in edit mode of course is available for PS4 and Xbox but Anything else regarding that matter is only on PC. So the first thing is, I have an option file. The option file I'm using is PES Universes 1. That's going to be the meat and bones of anything, okay? You're going to need an option file. Now, option files, they can be used on any platform. That's going to give you the kits, the logos, the badges, the proper names, all that. Okay, that's primarily what you do need. So make sure you have an option file. And generally, I would say stick to one don't keep swapping them out all the time, especially when you start sort of a Master League and stuff. I mean, if you finish a Master League, then fine, you can clear it out and maybe get another one. But I generally would stick to one that you like and then just keep updating it. So grab an option file, get that going. Uh, we've got all the version now, version 1 out for, for PES Universe. Version 2 is coming very, very soon. Uh, but we are going to be talking about Cider today, all right? I'm, I'm possibly DP Farless Generator are the main ones that you need to install to be able to do things that are very simple. Um, if you don't know how to do any of this, then that's the whole purpose of this video. I do use um, Evo Web an awful lot. This is where I do get all of the stuff for my PC version of PES. If you want to go in here, check it out. You have to register to be able to see the editing section on the website. But that's where you're going to get all the goodies primarily added to your game there's a lot of stuff there if you don't know anything about it then don't worry i'll try and do my best to walk you through that part but let's dive right into it so the first thing you're going to do is download cider they've got 6.11 that's out at the time of this video i'm going to leave the links for everything in the description of course um, this is a direct link and the reason why i do like evo web is because the links are all direct most of the time you don't have to go through a thousand links with malware and everything else it just gets on my nerves um, the links are simple click download job done so download cider once you have done that you're going to have it right here um, now if you're not seeing this icon before we do get into this with the books and the stacks it means you do not have the likes of winrar winrar is one of the best extraction programs you can get it's simple it works and uh, it's to the point so go to rawlab.com if you go there you can go to downloads, scroll down, and just get one of these localized versions and download the English one or whatever language you wish. 64-bit um, generally is the norm nowadays. So download that. Once you have done that, you'll know it's working because you'll have the books like this that are stacked. So once you have it and extraction's working, double-click on that file, and it's going to pop up with this. Okay, you're going to have CIDR 6.1.1. It's going to be updated a lot, so it's up to you whether you want to keep updating your version. I actually just had 6.01, now it's 6.11. Um, so if you double click, you'll see these are all the files that you need. Okay, simple as that. So we're going to go back to the original location and we're going to open up the location of PES 2020. Okay, so here it is. All the files that you should have. I've actually deleted my CIDR folder to make this easier so you don't get confused. Uh, this is the Steam version, as you can tell. We've got the Steam DLL files. Um, if you're not running a Steam file, then I don't really know. Can't help you too much. But this is a legit copy. Uh, we've got settings. We've got PES 2020 folder. And I've also backed up my original files too. Okay, so if anything ever goes wrong with these, I can revert back to original changes. You can also go in Steam and verify your files, and it will do that for you as well. Just right-click, click Verify Files, and it does it. It's very, very simple. But make sure you're always making a backup of whatever you are overwriting. We're not overwriting anything here, but if you do in the future, make a backup. Save it on your desktop, whatever, copy it. So if you do mess up, you can just go back to what was working. So what we're going to do is grab this file simply and drag it in. Okay, it's as simple as that. It shouldn't ask to overwrite anything, as you can see, because it's a whole new folder whole new bunch of files you can also right click and extract but honestly it's easy just to drag and drop so that job is done pretty much you can get rid of that all is sorted so you've now got cider 6.11 installed 
And if you double click that, these are going to be everything you need. Content, doc, live CPK and modules and then a couple of other files. One thing I recommend is going into gamepad and changing the enabled to zeros. By doing this, it means that when you hit the space bar, which does enable cider and make you see what's on the screen, it will not keep popping up in a match every time you hit the trigger files uh, or the trigger buttons on the controller. So put those both at zero, go to file, save, and then exit out and that one is done. Okay, so once you've done that with the gamepad, you're all sorted there, no problem. There's a couple of other things you want to take note of as well. So we've got the content folder in here right now is trophy server. Um, you can also add the stadium server. There's a ball server as well. These are all things that I will show you in later videos that you can add and keep stacking towards your game. But this is pretty much where the servers are going to be. And then in-game, you can change them on the fly. That's the nice thing. That is why Cider is so good. It's better than DP Farlish because you can change things on the fly. And you don't have to keep going out of the game and, and tweaking things. Uh, doc is just documentation. Don't worry about that. That's not relevant. Uh, live CPK, quite important. This is where you're going to be putting all the files that come out. So if you want to use a file for the likes of adding a specific ball you would put it in here and you just name it accordingly. Whatever you name the folder here has to basically be the same uh, in the configuration file, which we'll, we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, modules, leave this alone as well. Uh, this is just sort of Lua files that have a lot of code in there. It's stuff that you don't need to know. You'll never need to know anyway, so just don't worry about that. So I'm actually going to show you my copy of PES 2020 right now to make it a little bit easier on um, what files I have. So this is my files here. This is an older version of CIDR, but it won't be a problem. So if you go to Live CPK, right now I have the Man United polo shirt, turfs, and a TV logo. When you see my videos, there's a little thing that pops up in the corner. It says Sky Sports. That's it right there. So it's pulling all the information and then it's putting it into the game. So if we go back out now and we go to the configuration file from my copy right now that I have, you'll see I have located those three files right here. So cpk.root equals, and then you put that. It has to be the exact location, the exact characters, everything needs to be exact like this, otherwise it will not work in game. It's as simple as that. So what I'm gonna do right now actually is grab one of these files just to prove the point. Um, so you could leave ball root if you want. You could delete it. It really is up to you. Um, so I'm going to grab this TV logo. I'm actually just going to copy and paste it over here. Uh, so you guys will see that it's working. Then we're going to go back. And we're going to go to the configuration setting file here. And we're going to work a bit of magic. So what you're going to go to is... You can, you can generally get rid of this. It's not needed. And always make sure when you update CIDR, make sure you save this configuration file. If you do not save it, you're going to lose out uh, and you're gonna have to rewrite everything. So you pretty much copy and paste this. So you put cpk.root equals, these are always the same, question mark dot slash, if I can find the slash, live cpk. Now, if you've changed this, folder name then obviously you change it but just keep it like this it makes it far far easier uh, and then we're going to be adding tv logo just like it is in the folder close it off and that's it that is all you need to do you can go to file now and save that file there you go just make sure double click that it's still there yes it is it all looks exactly the same if you want you can copy and paste this to be honest and then just change the the end section makes it makes it easier but just to show you what I mean. So there we have it. That's the TV logo in the game. And now we can exit out of it. So now you're pretty much done. Okay, that is it for Cider. It is that simple to install. Now, yes, there is other things you can add to it because if you have a look at uh, my current, this is the, uh, the one I'm working on with you guys. This is my version I was using. If I go to content in here, you see I have got the stadium server where it's not in here. Uh, and this is something you're going to have to learn to do. And I will do another tutorial on that because I can't do it all in one single video. But generally speaking, 
There are a couple of additions, as you can see in my version, but that's because I've added newer things like the map competitions and, and everything else. But primarily, that is it for Cider. That is exactly how it works. Now, if you have it set up correctly like this, in-game, it should show you by hitting spacebar that you have the option uh, of tweaking a couple of things. So, without further ado, I'm going to head back into the game now to show you guys that it does work. But make sure you have everything set up like this. That's all you need. Side of folder there. And then the CPK files are going to be or the live CPK in here. Once you have those, connect them with the configuration setting. And you can have as many as you want. There is really is no limit. And then you are good to go. So I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, so before you actually do get in the game, you have to make sure you run Cider. If you don't run it, it's not going to work, obviously. Uh, I would recommend you do run this, though, as an admin, um, because otherwise you may have a couple of issues. But run it as an admin, and then you should get this little box right here. That does mean it's officially running, and now we can dive into the game. Okay, so we're now officially in PES 2020, and uh, a simple way of finding out if it's working is hitting the space bar. So you hit the space bar, and there it is. You can see at the top, uh, they've just got some sort of memory usage thing going on. And this is where once you start adding more things, you'll be able to change them. You simply use one, the number one on the keypad to change between different things. As you can see, we only have three things set up. You can actually change the camera angle as well using this you've got sort of dynamic wide camera uh, but you scroll through with one uh, and you just you just change things uh, if you would like but that is pretty much to find out if it's working now you've got the bread and butter of it you can start adding things as you wish and um yeah let me quickly go into a match and i'll also show you the little logo in the top right that we added as well all right so here we are in a match between united and watford and as you can see in the top right hand corner it does say Sky Sports 1 HD Live. So there you go. You know it's working. Cider works very well. And that's pretty much it for adding Cider to your game. That's step number one. There's a lot of stuff to do. Other tutorials I'll be covering the likes of the DP file generator to add CPK files, stadium server, scoreboard server, and all that. So I hope you guys do enjoy this series. I'll try and make it as easy as possible, but sometimes you have to talk and ramble and try and get the point across because I want you guys to learn it and sort of, you know, ingest it as well uh, and, and keep it in your memory. But anyway, till next time, subscribe for more, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.